What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode here on the beautiful islands of Boracay. And today we're doing island hopping. Let's go. Let's go. So you can't say you've been to Boracay with a proper island hopping tour. So this morning we're doing an island hopping tour here and the meetup point is Bulabok Beach. There are two ways you can book this kind of island hopping tour. So one, you can arrive on the spot and book at one of the counters. So as you can see, there are lots of people here. So it could get a little bit stressful. So for this island hopping boat, so we're actually going with a company called Viaja Royal, which we book through Kluk. As usual, we book through online Kluk because it's just simply a lot easier and more convenient to book it online without the hassle of lining up on the spot. So we actually have a discount code called Project Wear 5 Up. You guys want to use that promo code to save money, use it now, so it's here, I'll put it here. So if this is your first time watching our channel, my mother and also Joe actually came from Australia to visit us here in the Philippines. He spent a couple of good days and family time here in Boracay. Yay. You guys excited for Anna Hopping Tour? Yay. <laughs> your excitement? I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I'm so excited too. <laughs> Alright, so just to give you guys a brief idea what we'll do today on Anna Hopping Tour. So first stop, we're going to Puka Beach. Okay, Puka Beach. So not to confuse with Buka, which is young coconut in the Philippines. Puka Beach is actually on the north shore of Boracay, which is a very prestige beach, white sand, clear water, and it's actually less known by tourists, so it's less crowded. Second one. Crocodile Islands. Okay, Crocodile Islands. There are no crocodiles. But uh, Crocodile Islands, I think it's the shape of it. That's why it's called Crocodile Islands. So it is a famous spot for snorkeling and diving. Third. Crystal Cave <laughs> Island. <laughs> Crystal Cove. Uh, island. Crystal Cove Island. Yeah, so next up is Crystal Cove Island. So on Crystal Cove Island, there are actually two coves. So one of them is a very beautiful white sand beach. And the second one, there is actually a cave that you can go in. And the fourth place, and last but not least, we're going to Magic Island, which is a famous spot for cliff diving. And also in between the tours today, there will be on the boat lunch, dining experience. If you guys have not done island hopping here in the Philippines before, usually boat tours, the food is pretty good because it's fresh off caught from the sea. And actually today on our boat will be 40 people. Yeah, 40 people is the first time ever. So many people. Can you even walk on a boat? I think it will be a really big boat. I hope. If anything happens, I'll do me. Protect me. Whatever <laughs> you are. It's his copy me because I always sing with my Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I'm Zyra. All right, so we just got on the boat, so. Yeah, it's like this size. I'm not too sure if you can fit 40 people, but I see, do see lots of life jackets around here. So it's not particularly a big boat, but yeah, I think it can fit 40 people. Maybe. So in addition to the two operator fee that you pay, each island also have its own environmental fee, entrance fee we call it, which is 300 pesos per person, you get one of these tickets if you pay in advance. Okay, so you hand it to the staff here. Maganda Umaga, good morning. <laughs> See, my thoughts about Borokai Islands in general, island hopping tours here, I think the island itself is more developed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
This is the cave that we're gonna go inside now. Yeah. And later we can swim. Well, looks like it's a lot of people down there. Okay, go down. Here on Crystal Cove Island, there are actually two coves. This being one of them, which you gotta pass through the cave to get down there. So there's some rock formation, you gotta watch out for your head, just to look out. Yep. So into the cave always as usual, it's very humid and there are lots of people here. But luckily we're here early today, so less people. This is already less people guys. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. Yeah? You ready for a refreshing swim? Mm -hmm. Looks good, no? <laughs> go first, go, 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 go. I've got a recommendation for you guys. If you ever do water activities, actually anywhere in the world, it's best for you to get a pair of water shoes like this. Otherwise, you'll be stepping on really sharp and rugged uh, rock formations and it's not very comfy. So this is the entrance to swim outside. As you can see, the entrance right now is a little bit crowded. We actually have to wait for a couple of minutes just to go down. Okay, you go first. Oh my goodness, so many people. It's pretty refreshing. I'm floating, that's good. I don't know, so many people here. Let's go to this side. Everyone is so... Push, push me, push me everywhere. Like a dog, you can a mom's in the way. Also, my jacket is... Uh, really make you like <laughs> don't move at all. <laughs> I try to move it, but I could not. <laughs> oh, we've got a subscriber here. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's on the same phone as us. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think it's worth the wait. It feels like waiting for Buko ice cream just now again. Yeah. <laughs> there was a massive line. But yeah, so refreshing. Yeah. So beautiful cave. Yeah. and you feel this nature yeah. everywhere. I think this is a good start to this other hopping tour. Yeah. Uh, and what is so warm. warm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to code number two. So uh, we had actually just then we had to walk a bit of a scenic trail to get here. Like I was saying, Borokai infrastructure is very well built, so they do have some stairs. You yeah, you okay? So yeah, it's so comfy. Will be comfy yeah, I think if it's another island, we'll have to do some rock climbing already. Yep. But welcome to cove number two. So it is another second destination for us to do some snorkeling. There is another cave right here, but this one it's. Less crowded, I would say, maybe. Snorkeling without mask. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm sure many of you have experienced like me dealing with messy cables like this. When you take it out of a pocket or a bag, it's all tangled together, so it's super annoying, right? Well, today we've got the perfect travel solution for you. This is a Snap Wireless Power Pack Universal. It is the ultimate wireless charging companion that will change the game of charging your devices. Yeah, you heard that right. It is wireless charging and can charge any Qi wireless device. It is also compatible with your AirPods, Samsung Buds, and Pixel Buds. As you can see, it comes in a sleek and compact design, perfect for on-the-go charging when you're out there traveling. It has 10,000 mAh battery, so it will give your devices longer playtime. A fast power delivery 20W USB-C, meaning you can charge your power delivery enabled device to 50% in just 30 minutes. It is also a multitasking lifesaver that can charge multiple devices at the same time, so it's super convenient. Especially personally for me in my travels, I have to charge all my devices at the same time, like drone, computer, phone, cameras, etc. So it's simply amazing. There are also three power adapters to make sure you can keep your device is charged in almost any countries. To charge this, simply mount it to the wall and that's it. Upgrade your charging game today and get the Snap Wireless Power Pack Universal and use the promo code Aline and Justin get extra 10% off. I'll leave the link in the description. I love the fact that the water here is super crystal clear. Look at this. Wait, it's just like my shoes. You know some people's names actually got crystal. I know. Ooh. The water is not cold. Usually in this one. Usually in this kind of style snorkeling, water is so cold mm. under the cold. Yeah, it's so warm. They're way behind. Why is your mother take mask? Huh? Oh, is that your one? I know. I thought it was my mother too, but it wasn't. Oops. Someone looked exactly like my mother. Oh my god. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> far away. Yeah, too far away. 
Okay, let's see. So here is the cave that you can swim and also you can go to ocean. As usual, Tarana. Oh, what? I took my wallet. Hey, <laughs> you just an always doing this. <laughs> and Scam. when he lies, he's like, oh. oh, I took my wallet with me. I can read here, I'm alive. <laughs> In this side, this cave, actually a lot of boats nearby this cave. Yeah. So for me, I like more before. Really? For me, I like this one more. Yeah, I like more before. Yeah, this one, the cave is more spacious, so there's more walking space coming down here. I like before because before another cave, cave number one, they don't have boats, so it's more clear. I like cave number two because cave number two, <laughs> the rocks are not as sharp. This this one is flat, it's so easy to go down here and uh, there's more space around. Which one you like more, this one or number one? Can this can one is easier. Number one, we have to wait for very long and wait for people to go in. But this one, so quick. <laughs> like manga, like sun. <laughs> oh, really? Joe, you, yeah. which, which cave you like yeah. more? Not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> If you guys are drone users, then just a heads up, you cannot fly drone here because we saw a lot of airplanes landing here, so it's very close to the airport. Yeah, just they say up. we cannot fly, but we bring drone with us, so sad. We bring drone with us. Hey, how doing this? <laughs> bring drone with us. Guys, this island is so advanced, they even have security cameras at the cove with uh, cable wires inside the rock. Amazing. Oh, nothing nothing happened with you in, in this cave because they will watch you and yeah. they will protect you. The only thing I don't like about shared tools are the fact that you have to leave very on time, very early. So just and I feel like we only spent like 15 minutes here and then we need to leave already. So anyway, on to the next stop. Let's go. We're here at our second destination for today and this place is called Crocodile Island. We're gonna do some snorkeling. That's why I provided with these masks and the entrance fee for Crocodile Island is actually 100 pesos they need to pay per person. Yeah, the guy just saying was feeding the fish. That's where all the fishes are gathered around here now. Now it's a perfect time to go down to us, do snorkeling. Okay, Yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Okay. We just came back from snorkeling, and this place it's magical because there were lots of fishes swimming down there, just saying, especially because they were feeding bread to the fishes that attracts a lot of fish all around us just now. They give us mask without straw, so it feels like you need 
<laughs> yeah. Not, not really comfy. Yeah, like more with straw. It was kind of a bit like free diving in a way. Luckily, yesterday at the pool, we did practice a lot how to go down yeah. to the very bottom of the pool. So just now, I'm trying to that. Yeah, it, it was successful. Went down really deep. I was pretty much on the on the ground just then. Yeah, it looks so beautiful when Justin just go down and just like see like a Buddha or something. <laughs> like a Buddha. <laughs> We came to Pilayo Beach, leave our boat and go to this way to eat unlimited rice. Rice only! <laughs> rice only! Four different types of unlimited rice. I'm so interested how they're gonna feed 40 people. How many food they need to cook for 40 people? Alright guys, so we've arrived at lunch place for today's boat tour. Oh, oh thank you! Wow! wow. <laughs> yeah, so for today's lunch, looks like we're having a big feast. So we've got some crabs here, got some shrimps, got some scallops, wow. and this is so, some so luxury. <laughs> yeah, wow, it's really a feast for us. All right, sit down because I'm really hungry. Just look. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know what's in the middle. It looks like to be grilled fish. Yeah, grilled fish yeah, and we've got veggies over there as well and then we've got some noodles option and of course unlimited rice and fruits, fruits. Yeah, and fruits. a very balanced meal <laughs> and you guys ready? delicious delicious <laughs> i want to start <laughs> yeah okay. i'm hungry <laughs> let's dig in so hungry before and okay. few few vlogs before i learned how to eat crab so today i'm gonna practice again yeah but it's good news <laughs> We have anti-flies options. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Wow, looks Thank amazing. Guys. Thank you very much. With unlimited rice. <laughs> Thank you. This is the place for people who eat carinderia. They just grab food from here and after they're gonna get some a random table. Alright guys, we've arrived at our next destination here and this place is called Puka Beach. The beach here is looking absolutely amazing, especially compared to White Beach, he has less tourists. That's what I like about beaches, when it's so private, no one around you. And also, this beach from what I'm looking at right now is rather clean, there is not a lot of seaweed floating around, so it's rather peaceful waves as well. It's a great place for relaxing and swimming. Because the water here Kayaki. is so clear, that's why there are so many kayak to operate this year. They try to save you crystal kayak. Just because the water is so clear, you can see through the kayak and you can see through the white sand underneath. It's so beautiful. You want some drinks? Okay. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Just after you. Uh, Only for some drinks. If you want wow. to take a bit, no price. Wow. They were saying all the fees collected here are used for donations. I think it's for like an environmental fee to really to put the fees back to use to maintain the ocean, cleaning the beach and all the labor here as well. Yeah. Okay, we have 40 minutes to we'll spend this time high quality. Yes, let's go to the castle. Hot day like this, you really gotta put in that sunscreen. Otherwise you're gonna be crispy like electron. How are you, Joe? Uh, enjoying life. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> exactly, so amazing. Oh. How are you? Good. The water here is so clean and so, so oh. nice. <laughs> That's good. 
back to boat. And everybody enjoy vacation here in Boracay. Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe our channel and see you guys next time. Yes, and you guys want to book, 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 book this tour, make sure to use the link below in the description and get 5% of the same money. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye!